Hello there everyone, Mediocre Otaku here, and, and today I wanted to look at the new collector's edition of the Netflix era Neon Genesis Evangelion. Uh, real quick, before I actually get into any of the unboxings of this, I wanted to compare what you get in this set to what you get in the classic uh, Platinum release of the series. Um, so if you are not interested in this uh, I'll put a timestamp somewhere, and you can just skip ahead to when I actually start unpacking this thing. And I already have an unboxing of the Platinum Collection, if you are interested in seeing that as well. Uh, so, the there's only really two major differences between these two releases. Um, obviously, this new one has the Netflix dub, um, which I've heard not great things about. I haven't seen it myself, so I'm not gonna comment on the quality of it. Um, but this new collector's edition only has the, um, director's cut versions of, I don't even remember what episodes they are, but there's like four or five episodes that have director's cut versions, which I think they basically just spliced in some footage from the movies. I, I might be wrong. I'm not super well versed on the whole history of this series, so um, don't quote me on that. But if you want to see the original TV broadcast of the show, you have to either get the Platinum Collection or the uh, Perfect Collection DVDs that uh, ADV released years ago. But uh, honestly, you get the Platinum Collection. From what I've heard, um, the, the video quality is much better, and obviously you get both the broadcast and director's cut versions of the episodes, whereas with the perfect collection, you only get the broadcast versions, so keep that in mind. Um, the other major difference is that the ending theme song has been replaced on the new uh, Netflix version, so... The original series had different versions of Fly Me to the Moon as the ending song, um, and they were different in every single episode, which I've only ever... I think the only show that I've seen that has like a different sort of theme as the ending is uh, High School of the Dead, where I, I think every episode had a different ending theme song. Um, I haven't actually seen... The Netflix version, I don't know what the new song is like. I don't know if it kind of tries to sound like Fly Me to the Moon or anything. Um, but it's something to be aware of. Hopefully this helps you make an informed decision. Alright, now that that's out of the way, let's actually start looking at this baby. Um, it's a very, you know, minimalistic sort of approach to the packaging, which I, I do like. I don't have any, any sort of issue with it. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, it does come with this insert, um, which just sort of tells you, you know, what's, what's on the set. Uh, region A only, so it's another thing to be aware of. But, uh, let's, uh, start taking out some of these DVDs. So this is the first Blu-ray case, which contains the Netflix version of the series and the movies. And opening it up, it's very, very basic. Uh, the, the discs just say what's on them. Um, and that's, that's about it. And the last disc has the two original movies and bonus content. So I don't know exactly what the bonus content is, but it's on there. And this is the second... Blu-ray case, which has the original dub. And opening it up, it's uh, ba basically the exact same thing. Uh, the numbers on the discs are different, but that is literally it. And this right here is the last Blu-ray case, which just says additional bonus. 
I am not sure what is on here, but it's only one disc, and it's disc six, so it's kind of, wait a minute, yeah, it's weird, so the, like, the, the set that has the Netflix version has the discs uh, one through five, then the disc with the bonus is labeled as disc six, and then the classic version is uh, discs 7 through 11, and they're not, like, this is the order of the discs, but they're not numbered in, uh, order, which is kind of weird, but it's whatever. This is the booklet that comes with it, and I believe, um, yeah, so I believe they included stuff that was in the Laserdisc releases in here. Let me try to get this closer. So, I don't really know what all the Laserdisc um, content was, but it's apparently included here. I don't, I don't really know. Um, but yeah, it's just a look at all of the uh, robots and angels and all that stuff, um, episode summaries, so, yeah, uh, you know, small little book, but it's a nice little inclusion, and then the last thing included is this set of art cards, which I actually haven't opened yet, I haven't checked this out at all, um, so let's open this baby up. I apologize for the image quality here. Uh, these are very glossy and the light is reflecting off of them. So it looks like if I tilt it this way, you can make out the images a little bit clearer. Um, but I believe these are the original DVD covers for the Platinum version. Because a lot of this stuff looks very familiar. Um, a really nice sort of watercolor look to all of these. I don't recognize this piece of art. I'm going to have to look through my Platinum collection and uh, verify what I just said. So I was correct. These were all used in the Platinum collection except for this one and uh, this one, which I knew I didn't recognize. I Maybe these were originally all the DVD covers for the Japanese release. Um, that's what I'm guessing. That's what they end up doing sometimes. But yeah, these are a cool little bonus. If you don't have the Platinum Collection, you can still have all of the nice artwork from it. And that is going to do it for the new Blu-ray version of Neon Genesis Evangelion. Um, I, I, this is a nice set, like, it comes with both versions of the show, the art book, the art cards, is it worth the $160 price point, $170? I don't know, it depends on how much you value the original version of the show. Um, I know Shout Factory's limited editions are pretty expensive, um, the only one... Actually, I have, no, I have two of them. I have uh, the one from Weathering With You, which that's just a movie, and that was like 70 bucks. And uh, Be The Beginning, which was like 100 or something like that. So, you know, Shout Factory's limited editions are pricey. I'm not going to uh, try to deny that. It's kind of like Aniplex. Um, but this is still the cheapest way to get the original dub of the show other than maybe the perfect collections i don't really check the prices on that because i don't really care about that um but if you don't already have the series um either picking this up or the standard edition is the way to go as far as i'm concerned unless you absolutely have to have the show as it uh, originally aired 
completely, you know, like broad TV broadcast version, original ending theme song, all that stuff. Um, but that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.